Gina. Gina. Yes, ma'am. This is a dynamite book for new believers. Would you mind running it by Alice's house for me? Oh, sure. It's a goodie. Thanks. I'll go back to work today. Thanks. Hey, do we have a home group we can fit her into? No, ma'am. What do y'all do to disciple new believers? Girl, if we don't disciple them, we're going to lose them. We got to fix that little problem. Let's put it on the priority list. Okay. Appreciate you, girl. You're welcome. Yeah. Pastor McKnight is here. Oh, okay. Send him in. <clears throat> Pastor McKnight, please sit down. Thank you. It's finally good to see you and meet you in person. In person? Yes, I used to watch the, the television show. Ah, did you like it? Ah, mostly. Ah, yeah, yeah, mostly. <laughs> you always challenged my beliefs. Oh, honey, welcome to my world. Every time I think I've got something nailed down, God shows me something else in Scripture and I gotta rethink the whole thing. Then I gotta decide what I'm gonna walk in. My old beliefs or Scripture? Which is why I'm here today. I wanted to speak with you. You said something in um, one of those episodes. You said that it was ridiculous for these smaller churches to be within walking distance of each other and not come together. Sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. So in light of what you said in that episode, I have a proposal. Let's bring our churches together. Say what? Yes. It's a good thing and it makes sense. Listen, one, we can impact the smaller churches. Two, we could do so much more for the kingdom of God by bringing our resources and our people together. Mm -hmm. And check this out. I would love to be your assistant pastor. You know what? I want to go back to seminary. And being a senior pastor, I just don't have the time. Um, am I overstepping my boundaries? No. You have blessed me. You have honored me. I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. How's your board feel about this? Oh, they've been fasting. They've been praying. They feel that as if this is the will of God. Oh, you got a board that fasts and prays? <laughs> Be still my heart. <laughs> it's a small board, but they're real servants. Reckon. Pastor, a car just drove up and they were driving pretty fast. Okay, Gina, thanks. <sighs> you know I'm gonna have to go to my board, you know. But I'm pretty sure, it's a good board, I'm pretty sure that they're going to say, Oh no! Jesus! Hit me! Hit me! What's going on? What's going on? What are you going to do with that? I was going to protect you. Honey, I don't need protection from him. I need protection from her. And so far, even Jesus hadn't been able to help me protect me from that woman. <sighs> Gina. Yeah. Go lock the front door. Stick a chair under the knob. Okay. Um, wow. Pastor Lynn, um, are you in some kind of trouble? The reason I ask, I used to be a police officer, so I got a little... Something if you need, what, what you need. <laughs> I don't know about needing a little something, but you can't answer a question for me. Is there any way it'd be legal for me to sneak over to somebody's house and let the air out of their tires so they can't get over here and make me crazy? Pastor. I'm just kidding. But you don't know that woman. Well, why don't you just tell me about her? Gina? Yes, ma'am. I love you. 
answer that phone you fired. I wouldn't touch that thing for nothing. So now, now, tell me what's going on. Tell me about this character. Her name is Mabel Green. She's director of social services. And at my last pastor, she was always bringing me her Fruit Loops. You know, the one she couldn't find placement for. And believe me, there was a good reason she couldn't find placement for him. <laughs> well, looks like to me she may have trusted you. Aw, looks like to me she enjoyed tormenting me. Yes. Excuse me, but a Mrs. Green left a message. You want to hear it? No. <sighs> Reverend Jenkins, Mabel Green here. I just heard you're the new pastor. I wanted to congratulate you and thank you for all the help you've given us in the past. I also wanted to let you know that we're doing a much better job of placing clients now. Thought you'd appreciate knowing that. Okay, bye. Well, that seems harmless. Seems like to me you don't have anything to worry about. Mm, maybe not. Well, uh, the time has slipped by. I gotta get to another meeting. So, Pastor Lynn, thank you so very much for meeting with me today. Oh, and thanks for coming by. Oh, no problem. Listen, consider my offer. Gina, could you show Pastor out, please? Oh, I know my way out. Thank you. Have a good day. Pastor? I just don't like that look. That car is still in the parking lot. And that woman is not showing any signs of leaving. What's she doing? Well, she's leaning against the hood. I may have some bad news. There is somebody in the back seat. I knew it. I knew it. That woman is out to get me. <sighs> well, what you gonna do? <sighs> Can you do something other than pants? Go back and get that knife you had. That was a letter opener. Oh, that'll do. Hello, laddie. 